Hello everyone, this is Joanna and this morning I would like to do a damping, I'm sorry, stamping demonstration of this plate here. And this is the DRK or Drick Nails Designer One plate. So I'm going to open this up um, and we're going to get started. Just for um, polish I have on this hand here my chambray showers, two coats of that. And on this hand here, I have Spencer, which is one of the new Zoya nudes. I'm going to be using my Rika Black, and I'm going to be using this stamper here, and hopefully this doesn't fall out. So I'm going to open this up, and I'm going to take the blue film off and go over it in ace tone, and I'll be right back. Here's what that looks like. I don't know how much of that you can see clearly up close there, but I know with the glare of my phone, I'm going to try to stamp from almost all the areas here. And I've got my little cotton rounds here. I have a mix of the ones I like and the ones that I don't like. And I'm just going to try to stamp all areas of this plate here. Go over the whole thing here with ace tone. Okay. And hopefully my phone doesn't tip over. Because every time I move this paper, I'm moving my phone here. So I'm gonna start off with this area here. And I will probably keep going until I either run out of space in this recording or my ace tone here because I'm running low on that. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to try these flowers first that I really, really like here. I really like those flowers there. I'll try those here. I'm yeah, that'll probably be one of the first things I do is these flowers. I really like those. I don't know what polish I'm going to be using or what look I'm going to be doing yet. I need to do something, but I have um, been filing my nails down because of the damage that's on them. And I'm going to spend most of this month doing that because I want to have them straightened out and looking nice for holiday or for the holiday time. Okay, this is very pretty. Okay, we're going to try to do this where you can see what I'm doing. And I got, I missed that corner there, but hopefully you can see that very detailed. And again, if I didn't say, I don't know if they pronounce it Drick or DRK. I kind of pronounce it both ways. So either one, it's like when I'm talking about acetone, you'll either hear me say ace tone or acetone. Now I'm going to try these little circles here. I might have to go for my new bottle of the stamping polish. Okay. These are the circles here. Okay. Very detailed there. Okay. I'm going to try to hit all areas of these plates for y'all. Try to. And these are the little hearts and dots. And this plate also has ladybugs on it. So far, so good. The only thing that I hate is, is like I said, this stamper, when I'm rubbing it, you know, to take the um, acetone off, this little spongy thing comes out of here. And I do plan on using that rectangular one I got from Mow You More. I just stuck it somewhere that day that I showed it. And now I don't know where it is, if I tell the truth. I'm going to try these roses here. I really, really like these. 
Now, when I get a little bit more length to my nails, I will be anxious to take this particular plate. See, it came out. And stamp these things in different colors. Still worked. Okay, now I'm going to put this back in here. And now this plate has some little birdies up top here along a fence. And they're very tiny. These are tinier than what they look like online. See? Very tiny. Try that right there. So, I think I did it upside down. But very tiny. And what I'm going to do, since I want to try something else here, I want to try this zebra print. So I'm just going to put that on top on that same nail. See how that looks. Okay, and that's the zebra print. I'm going to try that on top of that same nail. Ooh, that zebra looks nice. I think I will put that the next time I do um that little leopard look that I like to do. Okay, now there's also some ladybugs along this plate. Going to see if I can find a few and stamp them out for you. And these will be great if they can be isolated. Okay, there we go. Little ladybugs. You can see those really good. Okay. Now there are some roses here. I'm going to try the smallest rose since I don't have a lot of room. See? I will lay that along that finger there. And I will say really nice detail on this plate. Now I'm going to pause for a minute and put this back in. See, this is the trouble that I have with this. Now I'm going to come back up here and I'm going to try these lines here. I like images like these lines. I just don't use them much. And I don't know how far down I am with this polish since I can't see through it. But I like images like this. I just don't use them much. Okay, I put that across that nail. Very nice, crisp, clear. Let's see. We're going to try one more here, and then I'll probably have to switch up. I want to try what looks like water here. These waves. I guess they could be water, depending on how you look at it. Like if you did a C setting. I think of it as water. I don't know. He might think of it as something else. Okay, we're going to put that along there. Very clear, as you can see. I think I've done all these, so I will be back. Okay, for this go round, I have applied this polish by Sinful Colors called Skinny Dipping on this hand, very hastily, as you can see. And this shade right here is number 62. Um, I believe this is sold on the Born Pretty site, but this was a gift polish sent to me by Mrs. Um, L Sugar here, L Sugar 49, Miss Pumpkin, here on YouTube. She sent me this a while back, and I love this yellow. And I'm still going to be stamping in my Rika Black. And I'm holding this up to the light. I can't see how far down in it that I am, but I'm going to continue using it. And I'm going to continue to use this stamper and this scraper. And this time around, I'm going to show you the areas I'm going to try to hit on this plate. We're going to try to hit um, these areas here in this corner. These palm trees here, some of these dots. And there are some other dots on this plate right here in this area. So again, I'm going to try to hit um, as much as I can. I've hit most of this lower area here. I want to hit whatever this thick area is right here and some of these areas right here just to give us, you know, some movement around the plate. So we will begin that. 
also some of the single images on this plate I want to try to capture. I don't know if that's like a duck's head, um, but I want to try to capture that for you. These palm trees, there is a single flamingo and a single flower and some grass along the side of the plate. And I also intend to go back down here and stamp some of these borders in this area. And there's some roosters with a moon here. Um, and some of these little lines, because um, I think the only thing that I stamped from around where the animal print was, that was it. So I'm going to stamp some more besides the um, animal print and the zigzag lines that I did. So here we go. I'm going to switch over to this stamper because it's too cumbersome um, right now to have this consistently popping out. Now I do like this and I'm going to order another one of these as well as some from MoYu. I just want to figure out a way to keep this in here because these kind of stampers are nice for precise nail placement like when I did that turquoise animal print and I had the white along the side of my nail I was able to line up that part that I wanted to so I do like this and it's one of my favorites but it's very very sticky this one is like that large marshmallow one so that's another reason it comes out I can't figure out how to anchor that in there so hopefully when I start using my MoYu one it won't do that but I'm going to switch over to this round MoYu one to test the dryness of this polish, we're going to try this feather right here. And that's very nice. But I definitely need more nail space. Okay, now we're going to try um, the duck head and the flamingo. I don't know if I can capture both of these, maybe like on a thumb. We'll see. Okay, as you can see, the duck head and the flamingo. Okay, and I was able to capture all of that. I'll have to show you upside down though. But I was able to capture, so all of that stamps nicely, the duck's head. Now we're also going to try this grass along the side here. Cause that can come in handy for something. And I'm going to take just a bit of that grass, whatever I get right there. And I'm just going to try to lay this along the lower portion of my nail. The very lower section as you can see there. Very nice if you can see that detail there. Okay. Now, I'm going to go up here and see if we can't capture those roosters. I was going to put them where the grass was, but I wanted to try to get some of that there for you. Okay. Now, try these flowers and a piece of this butterfly. I'm not too crazy about butterflies shaped like this one, but I suppose it can come in handy. I like the butterflies that are more detailed, but that is cute. And I put the butterfly right there and the flowers right there. Let's see, I'm going to go up here to these trees. And I probably won't have enough room but for one of these. And that picks up really nicely. And I got the very corners of all that. You can see there. But I will say this as I always say, working with your black, no matter what black it is, is very messy. Okay. Now I'm going to come up in here and we're going to try some of these spots. 
Well, this is like a flower burst, so I shouldn't call it spots. And I've already done this hand up. Okay. Very nice, besides having it on my skin there. And I also want to try this print up in the corner here. Very pretty. Very detailed. And we'll do two more. And then I will give this video a rest. I hope that this was helpful to everyone. Let's see. We'll try this thicker image here.